today we are in uh, in Fife out in the east coast of Scotland. We are on this cool little farm and we've just set up some hay bales um, and Danny's going to try and basically ride on top of a hay bale down a hill. And the idea is that I'm going to jump onto the hay bale and try to roll on top of it through shot. You know, maybe get like 12 or 15 meters on top of it, so no idea how it's going to go. I actually had to take the poles out of my rear hub. My bike's thinking it's going backwards, but I feel like I'm going forwards. So trying to react, everything you have to do opposite to keep them balanced. Just a really difficult trick and Danny has to do it so many times to get it right. We've got the glorious job of pushing the bale back up the hill again. Very exciting having it on the farm. Uh, it's a bit different than what we're usually doing anyway. We're trying to make hay and silos just now and not really happening with the weather. We've just moved downhill a bit. Danny's been killing himself up there trying to roll on the top of the bale, but we're just decided to come down here and do a little setup shot. There's going to be a tractor scene beforehand, the hay bale falls off the tractor, the bale's going to roll into a shot, and Danny's going to be chasing it down, ready to kind of jump onto it. Yeah, it's all good, except we're just needing to push tons of hay bales around the field. Hi Daniel! Today we are trying a case front flip. This involves me jumping off a kicker and then I basically come up short in the jump, hit my little landing area on the back side of the jump and then try to front flip. And we've, we've actually built a platform out of wood just for consistency. I think everybody's been there where they've come up short in a jump and that's kind of taken, you know, a failure and then turning it into a, a trick. A bit of fun. Usually the back side of jumps that I end up landing on anyway, so I thought why not? <laughs> I have basically uh, taken the rebound out of the shock just so that I can get enough spring and bounce to get around on such a short landing. So it's a bit like a pogo stick. Yeah, he's been trying it a few times and I think it's come reasonably easy for him compared to what he expected. I've had some crash mats in there and he's just been kind of landing it in the front flip. We're going to kind of take the mats away and have a go and see how it gets on, but it always kind of suddenly a lot scarier without the mats. Right, let's do it. It was a bit stressful for a while, he just couldn't get his head around doing it on the mats and then we actually the rain has just started. We were kind of said to him like the rain was coming and kind of motivated him, so busted it out. Yeah, happy. We're kind of ticking them off and getting there as we go. Building a extra deep puddle on a farm road. I think everyone's been there where you're walking out in your wellies through a puddle and you don't know how deep it is in the middle. We're gonna take this to the next level by digging a six foot deep puddle. So I'm gonna have just the, the GoPro hopefully just poking out the top of the surface. The plan is to fill the bars of sand Teach you the sand, tires of water, and then I'm gonna have a backpack full of rocks on my back. Because I think the main thing is just gonna be getting enough traction on the ground to kind of drive through the water. Because it is gonna be up to a bit here. <laughs> so we'll see. Got 
got the puddle all topped up, kind of good to go, but he doesn't have that many sets of clothes. So we're going to do a bunch of test shots first, make sure it's all good, then set up and do a, yeah, do it in his normal, normal riding kit. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the little sequence will basically be he's going to ride in past the sign, we've got a sign made up and you're going to see all the puddles and stuff in the background, going to splash through them, cut to like a kind of side on shot of it, see the GoPro going along the top and then a bit of a hero shot as like the eyes kind of appear out of the water and basically like Arnie and Predator, that's the plan. It's been a lot of fun. Definitely been uh, quite tricky to get it to work how we were imagining. Um, it's another one that we had no idea what, what was going to happen, and it's just kind of figuring out in the day. Um, it's been quite cold for me. 